Our first guest tonight does many things. He is an actor, director, and caster of Pods, who starting Friday gets behind the wheel on Top Gear America. It will be available on the Motor Trend app. Please welcome Dax Shepard. <laughs> Wow, I'm surprised. <laughs> I did not, I did not know Kanye had shifted to a mustard color. It's now available. <laughs> so, who was I to resist? You know, generally I wear a suit here. Yes, always. Yeah, always to demonstrate to you, I respect you and I love you. Oh no, what happened? Well, <laughs> I think just the fact I risked my life to come see you. That's pretty good. I yeah. don't need to really wear anything. You're right. This. Yeah, yeah. You like, I good. showed you I love you. I'm here. You, it's a good color for you also. Thank you so much. It's my first time in this color, if you can believe it. Is it, it. really? <laughs> it really is. I, I don't own anything in mustard until this. And it arrived this morning. What are you up to? You're always up to something, I know. What are you up to? Like, what's going on in, my in the life. Shepherd house in your life right now? Well, I think the most um, prominent feature in our life right now is that I have been in search of a very specific motorhome for a decade. I bet I dedicate 40 minutes a night looking in bed at motorhomes. <laughs> it's very hard to get the one I wanted with bunk beds for the girls. Uh huh. And I found it, Jimmy. Uh huh. And, thank you. 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah. before the girls, you were looking for this motorhome with the bunk beds for the girls. How dare you point out <laughs> that my math doesn't work here. <laughs> Seven years and 11 months ago, I started looking. Now, I've always wanted a motorhome, but then it became very clear we needed bunk beds. Uh -huh. um, so I found one in the worst time ever to buy a motorhome during the pandemic. Uh -huh. where every knucklehead's buying a motorhome. Yeah. But I found Me one included. in- Yes, <laughs> I know this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sent me a picture of you driving down the road listening to Armchair X. We're very flattering. And I was like, wow, how'd you rent that? They're hard to rent right now. And you're like, oh, no, I'm, I'm an owner of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess you weren't looking for 10 years either. No, <laughs> no. But I've been thinking about it for at least 10 years, maybe okay. longer than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But go it's ahead. It's a I've lifestyle I've always wanted to be a part it's of. It's just something you just really want. And then once you get it, you realize maybe you don't want it as <laughs> well. <laughs> That is not my experience, but that is oh. my wife's experience. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I find this 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 bus. It's a it's a proper bus, and I find it in Dallas, Texas, and then I drive it home. And I've shown my wife photos of it. She's kind of aware of it, but I don't think she realized how big it was going to be. And um, also, she's been we've been, but really, she's been building her dream house for the last three years. Uh huh. And um, you've been to my house. Very modest. I don't care. I would have died there. Yeah. But she, rightly so, wants a beautiful house. She had a fantasy of it, and it's it's done. And the first thing I did is I pulled that motorhome right up in front of it, and it, it, and it now lives in front of her I think we have a picture mode. of that, because and, I, I um, did want to ask you about that. Is, so there's, oh, so there's a house somewhere behind that. <laughs> Big Brown, well, no, you're, at, you're this is the view from the home. So if you're, if you're like, looking out. <laughs> the dining room windows. You're welcome very much. This is what you get to see. So she said, you know, when I envisioned this beautiful home, I did not think that this would be parked in front of it. And I said, I'm not sure what you're embarrassed about. Like, if our neighbors see this, they're going to think Aerosmith's spending the night. Like, <laughs> let me hit you with some of the... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Them off. Oh, my well, God. Clearly, a lot of different lights are an option. Uh, you know, king-size bed and back, two beautiful bunks, queen up front if we choose, full-size kitchen, full-size fridge, washer, dryer, two, <laughs> two showers. Well, that's unnecessary, No, is it's it? not. Why are two showers necessary? I have kids. <laughs> what, if, what if we all get a hankering to get clean at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> They'll soon be at an age where they're not going to want to bathe with me. I think that's around the corner. Did the guy tell you this? Because this is what the guy told me. I didn't get one quite that big. But yeah. I was like, this is great. It's got, you know, 50 gallons of water. You can take a yeah. shower. He's like, yeah, try not to keep any water in it. <laughs> it really it hurts the gas mileage. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. The water is, is, is causing more than the gas, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think of Have you been in a trip with the family yet? Have you been on? No, no, I drove this son of a gun 2,000 miles from Dallas, Texas. I just, uh -huh. I glided home is what I did. <laughs> I'm about a foot and a half above the truckers. Uh -huh. 
and I got to use the truck stop gas station, uh -huh. clearly. Yeah. And then you have to predict how much fuel it's going to need because you can't put your credit card in there. It's going to max out at 100 bucks. Yeah, you have to put it in repeatedly. Yeah. Well, mine won't do that. So oh. I got to go inside and tell them how many hundreds of gallons I think I need them to put on the car. <laughs> and I'm also doing the math. I'm like, I, don't, I think it probably needs 175 gallons times $3.40 a gallon. So I go in there and I'll be like, I, put 720 on the car. Let's see where we get. And then you just hope that'll be the only time you fill it up this year. It holds that much? And, and hundreds how, of gallons. How many of gallons. miles to the gallon does it get? Well, let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> My wife drives an electric car. I want to be very clear about that. <laughs> you are, I think you're more prepared <laughs> for, you. for the apocalypse. <laughs> no, because I figured mine out. It's like 3.75 miles to the gallon, I think. Okay, it's not great. But, yeah. but this is a diesel, so I actually was hitting about 7.5 miles to a gallon, which I felt fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I was like, you know what? This is, uh, this is ethically challenging. Unless I always have 13, 14 people in it. Uh -huh. And then you do the math, and we're good. We're around 40 miles a gallon. So I just have to always have it packed. You've had it for how long now? Since December 7th. No trips yet, huh? Well, just the one home. And, uh -huh. then, um, <laughs> and then a lot of hanging out in, in my driveway, as you okay. might guess. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's connected to the internet from my home, which means I have every channel inside the bus. Uh huh. Great and AC. Really nice couch, and I just kind of hide in there because you can lock that door. You bought, you bought a shed that gets seven miles to the gallon. Is yes. that really what happened? In fact, the the the, the my dealer, uh, uh, David Garza, <laughs> down in Dallas, Texas, he put it best. He said, "Dax, th they break." Uh, basically, what you have is a home in a tornado. <laughs> and I was like. That's pretty accurate, because you're always driving at 80. So it's like your home is in an 80-mile-an-hour tornado for hours and hours at a time. So have appropriate expectations. This is, how he, break. this is the, how he closed the deal? And it worked for me. I was like, <laughs> Dax Shepard is with us. <laughs> Top Gear America is his show. It premiered Friday. We'll be right back. I got to tell you something. This car makes me proud to be an American. I want to eat some apple pie, a couple hot dogs, and then I want to do what we're known the world over for, turning left. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, the heart rate really gets up for this. Woo! My goodness. That is Dak Shepard driving a car irresponsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Top Gear America, this is your dream job, right? I mean, I've known you for quite some time. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. if somebody said to me, what's Dax's dream show, I, this is what I would say. It feels suspicious. Yeah. Uh, that thing you just saw, right? Yeah. They didn't ask me if I could do that. Like, they didn't go, hey, can you drift this thing around this? They just said action. And then I went out there and I did that. And I came back and I thought, well, they got lucky that I can do that. <laughs> did you know that you could do it? I had a, a hunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I felt good about it. Uh -huh. but, but what I love about the show is safety's third, if it's even third. <laughs> I've never been asked if I could do something. They just give me the keys, and then I do stuff like that, and my employers are thrilled. They're so happy I did that. And, yeah. and then I get a check on Friday. I watched Consistently, the, every Friday. I watched the first episode, and you guys destroyed a vehicle, like, yeah. almost immediately. And everyone was happy. <laughs> <laughs> And it, it came out of nowhere, too. It wasn't even like it was like a plague. We're going to destroy this vehicle. Here's how we're going to do it. Yeah. You guys are like, and then like, boom, it's just gone. Sure. We're like chimpanzees. Like, we'll do what you're supposed to do for a while, but then we just want to hit it with clubs and stuff. <laughs> and then also they hire police officers to shut down roads for us. And it's the most unique feeling to, like, drift through an intersection completely out of control. And out of the corner of my eye, I just see, like, a state trooper going. Yeah. I mean, that's, I couldn't, I, I've driven home. In fact, from that episode, I was driving home and I thought, I didn't think my life would ever make perfect sense. But, but, <laughs> but it really did. Like, my, my love for racing and cars and then improv, which didn't seem like they'd ever intersect. And then being cordoned off by the police to yes, do it all. Yes. It's like you're President Evil Knievel. It doesn't feel real. I never was a big believer of the simulation until this job. <laughs> but now it's pretty suspiciously good. You, uh, you know, in the 70s, 
for those who weren't around back then, yeah. vans used to have many vans, the cool vans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Used to have murals on them. Well, in, in, in a particular one that I love was, I don't know if you ever saw the Chuck Norris movie, Breaker Breaker. Mm -hmm. Fantastic film. <laughs> the whole premise is he's in a four-wheel drive van. <laughs> Let him at it. Yeah. And of course, he has to beat people up along the way. And I just, as a kid, I was like, my God, if I could learn karate and get myself a nice four-wheel drive van with a mural on the side, things would be wonderful. I believe you, well, you, you like, So we had an overlanding episode. It's hard to tell what that is. Well, I don't know if that's hard. That's probably not hard to tell. No. Well, let me just tell you really quick. On the show, we often get a little budget to modify our vehicles. <laughs> and rightly so, Jethro and Rob Cordry, they spend money on suspension and, 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 and turbos. And I spent my whole budget on this mural for the side of my van. How much? Because I thought if I lose, I still won. Now, my wife was so thrilled with this, I as bet. you can imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because... It, it, well, she said, this is very misogynistic. <laughs> Where's my sword? I see you've slain a dragon, but I didn't seem to be involved other than to hold your quadricep. Uh -huh. How long is your flaccid schlong? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. They went a little light on that. But anyway, uh, I said to her, "Hun, we have to respect the time period. That's true. And it art. would be dishonest for us to have a 70s van with, like, me cowering and you wielding the sword, which today I'd be loved to do. Some might argue that she got you to do her dirty work for her by killing that dragon that's now on the side of the van. She outsmarted me. Yes, she yes. did. Yes, yes. That's, that's a lot of things, that mural. Uh, none of them negative. <laughs> well, Dax, congratulations on finally realizing what you were born to do, and that is Top Gear America. Yes, Here's thank you so much. Friday on the Motor Trend app, Dax Shepard everybody. We'll be back with John Wilson. Congratulations on making it to the end of the YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.